Stuart, yeah. what kind of a tempura do you like? Well, I don't eat prawns, so I prefer white fish or vegetable tempura, particularly cauliflower or mushrooms of any kind. How about you? Oh, excuse me saying this, mm. but I'm very fond of tendon with big, fat, juicy ebi. Ah, chacun a son goût. Ingredients coated in a flour-based batter and fried in oil. Tempura is a traditional Japanese dish. The primary ingredients are vegetables and seafood. You can enjoy things that are in season at the height of their flavor. Because the batter-coated ingredients are fried for only a short time, their savory tastes are locked inside and can be fully enjoyed. There are two main ways to enjoy tempura. One is to dip it in tensuyu, a dipping sauce made by adding soy sauce and some other ingredients to a stock based on dried bonito flakes and kelp. The other is to use salt. You do this when you want to focus more on the natural taste of each ingredient. Making authentic tempura requires superior cooking skills. The first stage is the preparation of the ingredients. Let's look at how to prepare Japanese whiting. First, the fish are carefully scaled with a knife and the heads removed. Then they're sliced open along the spine and the bones and guts are removed. The important thing is to make sure that the fish don't split into two parts. Finally, the tails are cut to the same length so that they'll look nice when they're served. This kind of meticulous preparation makes each ingredient taste and look its best. The next stage is to make the batter, which keeps the savory tastes locked in. A mixture of beaten eggs and water is poured into a bowl of flour. It's important that the ingredients are only lightly mixed. If they're mixed too much, the batter will get sticky and won't taste good when it's fried. The final stage is to fry the ingredients in oil. Once an item has been coated in batter, it should be fried immediately, and it shouldn't be left in the oil any longer than necessary, not even one second. To make delicious tempura, everything must be done carefully and precisely at each step of the process. Tempura is thought to have originated from a type of fried food that came to Japan from Portugal in the 16th century. It was very similar to fritters. During the Edo period, this fried food from overseas was adapted, Japanized, and became extremely popular among ordinary people. Nowadays, new and unusual kinds of tempura are being created to meet contemporary needs. This is tempura ice cream. Hot batter and ice cream are a match made in heaven. Various ingredients are coated in batter with tremendous care to deliver unique culinary experiences. That's the essence of tempura. Stuart, yeah. tempura has many regional varieties, mm. like most other types of Japanese cuisine. Mm -hmm. Any particular favorites? Well, in Okinawa, I tried shimarakyo tempura, and that was really good. Ah. Okinawa's temper is unique. Mm. It has a thicker coating seasoned with salt. I'm mm -hmm. um, talking about uh, deep fried foods in Britain. Mm. I know fish and chips have long been popular. Yes. How are they different from tempura? Well, the main difference is that the fish is a huge uh, fillet. Uh, we don't have delicate little pieces like tempura. And of course, there's never any tail left on the fish. The secret is to sprinkle on lots of salt, mm -hmm. uh, just like uh, tempera, but also malt vinegar. Never eat fish and chips without malt vinegar. <laughs> OK, yeah. I remember that. Uh, Hiro, I heard that uh, tempera started out as a, a dish served at street stalls. Mm -hmm. So how did it come to be served at specialised restaurants as an haute cuisine? Well, at specialised restaurants these days, uh, the chefs use only 
a high quality oil mm -hmm. and select ingredients. Mm. Uh, besides, they prepare the dish with superb skills mm. in front of their customers mm. so that the customers can enjoy uh, piping a hot, uh, freshly cooked tempura. Which means it's a superior type of fast food. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Um, uh, on the other hand, tempura is also a, a popular item for um, home cooking. Mm. Uh, although, uh, of course, it's difficult to cook it as well as the professionals do. That's interesting because deep frying in pans of oil at home is not so common in the West, uh, partly because of the danger. So. Uh, we usually buy fried food uh, cooked at a shop or have it at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, these days many people will buy ready-made frozen chips, for example, and uh, battered fish pieces, um, fish nuggets, etc., to just heat up or grill. Mm, I thought uh, deep-fried dishes were popular home-cooked meals mm. in the West too. Well, in Scotland they serve fried chocolate bar. Would you like to try some? Oh, no, thanks. I'll stick with prawns. Well, as we say, shaku asongu. <laughs> I like your type. Thai oh, tempura. <laughs> <laughs>